Hey guys, it's Jaden. We're back. Today we're talking about Falcon Winter Soldier Episode 2, um, The Star Spangled Man. And I'm going to say this is a no recap, react situation. So obviously I'm talking about spoilers because I'm just talking about the show and my feelings. Um, and I'm going to start straight off, off the cuff right now. I don't know who this man who thinks he's the man is, but um, this fake ass Captain America, cut it, cut it. Here's my things that I thought were just wild to me. I think this is the biggest aspect um, I would say that come out of the show is that last episode, they were really kind of diving into like the race issue of being like, you know, a black person, a black man in America. Like I thought it was a mistake. I'll be honest because I was like, Marvel Disney ain't about that life. Marvel is not about to, you know, Give me, give me the good good on the television. He's not about to explain, um, you know, the systemic racism and uh, racial profiling until, yeah, no, they're doing it. And I know that, like I say, like Sam's book for when he was all new Captain America was very political, but it was very political. So to see this situation right now, I am ecstatic, not about like the racial profiling and all that, but about like where this could possibly go. Because here's the thing, Sam Wilson has always been about this whole thing, like I am not Captain America's sidekick, I'm his partner. There's a completely different thing. But everyone always has always saw him as like, oh, you're his wingman. Ah. No, they're partners. And he's made that abundantly clear. I believe that he's he said it in the, um, in the movies once or twice. But I'm pretty sure, like, it's been abundantly clear he's not Captain America's sidekick. Um, and at this point, Bucky, in the comics, um, was more of a sidekick to him. But now Winter Soldier, Winter Soldier was Steve's, like, best friend. Like, Bucky was his best friend, period. That's just the truth. So, my whole thing is, I just wasn't expecting, like, the little microaggressions or whatever that were coming out of John Walker's mouth to come out. Um, John Walker is effectively, effectively, they're basically redoing Captain America, the first Avenger, like when he was on the USO tour, basically giving people the, the motivation and shit. But at the same time, you know, he actually has skill. He actually has talent. Um, I'm going to be honest. I would not be surprised if this man was also a super soldier. He says he's not, but like, honestly, who do we know? We don't really know. But he uses that shield a little bit too well, and I don't really appreciate it. So all I'm saying is that. We're taking that shield back. I'm still on team take that shield because the audacity. Um, before I get into like the real audacity, my whole thing, just to wrap up the whole systemic racism aspect of, I really wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting the cops to roll up and be like, oh, is there a problem, sir? First of all, back your ass up. What are you talking about? They were literally in the middle of the street. Um, and it's just, I don't know. It's just some mess. Oh, God. I don't know. I don't know. That makes me actually like the series a little bit more. Just does. Um, another aspect that I thought was wild was also just the fact of like Isaiah Bradley being introduced because that is some implications that are wild to us because um, Elijah is right there. Elijah's right there. So I'm so excited. I'm so excited because um, Young Avengers is happening. We already got Cassie. We already got basically Isaiah Bradley's grandson, Elijah. We already know Kate Bishop's in Hawkeye series. We already know Speed and Hulican. Um, the children now, but I feel like they're going to become teenagers or adults in um, Multiverse of Madness. So, you know, we're getting that. Um, just Isaiah, Isaiah Bradley being there is just like crazy to me. Because I, I just wasn't expecting it. I just wasn't. Um... Yeah, I don't. Whew. Something that uh, something that you know John Walker has said was um, he just kept calling Bucky Bucky, and I don't know, but if y'all felt this way, but I felt like how dare you? You haven't earned that name. You haven't earned that nickname. You haven't earned it at all. How dare you talk to him like that? You know because he's acting real like brand new, like we're besties. Like we don't know you. 
And then, then them trying to like hype him up like, well, you did all this. You have three medals of honor. You have this, you have this, you have this. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Did you fight Thanos? And I'm not even being like mad about the whole situation of like if you didn't fight Thanos, but I'm sorry. Your human fights, you having some type of skill, did you fight Thanos? Because I can tell you right now, you didn't fight Thanos. So why are you coming at Bucky and Bucky, James Buchanan Barnes, without a mister? Why are you coming to Sam Wilson? And I don't know who that other man is. I'm not even going to give him the time of day. But him, he talking all that spicy stuff too. And how dare y'all? How dare y'all? I finally, finally understand the Nicki Minaj Little Kim beef. Completely. I get it from Little Kim's side now. I understand. How dare you not respect your elders, respect the ones that came before. How dare you come into this place talking like, oh, Bucky, it's okay, Sam. It's Mr. Wilson and Mr. Barnes. It is Falcon or White Wolf Winter Soldier. Pick a name, but Bucky, Sam, you don't know me like that. I... I, I'm, I'm not gonna harp on this, but like that, that makes me just like so upset. Like, how dare you talk to them like that? Um, this man is like, oh, I just wanna do great, I just wanna do great. You're literally a propaganda machine. That's all you are. Like, yeah, you have resources and all that, but like, no offense, like, who the fuck are you? Um, also, then my dude telling them, like, stay the hell out of my way. Boy, we will whoop that ass. Truly, truly, you're not, you're not gonna fight them. You're, don't don't make me call Dr. Banner. Don't make me call Carol. Don't ring ring. Don't make me call Rocket. I mean like you don't even got their number. Like he really just he really thought he was on the team. Boy's a water boy. Boy's a fan. I, I said what I have to say about that. But anyway. <laughs> Um, I really am really excited. Uh, hopefully we really get to have that, that conversation with Sharon. Uh, Sharon coming in because here's the thing. Sharon Carter, I feel like there just has to be some unknown like drama. I really want to understand like how does she feel that her like ex-boyfriend basically went back to her grandmother? How does that feel? How, um, just want to know. I really want to know what this whole conversation on Zemo is going to be like. I really don't. I, I want to know, but I really don't care. Because, like, just the dynamic of, like, that they're establishing with this show is just, like, it's pretty good. I mean, you're getting to know a little bit more of, like, the personal sides of these people. And it really does feel like a Daredevil. It feels like, I'm going to say Daredevil. Maybe Jessica Jones. With a little Luke Cage in there. And the wacky hijinks of a Iron Fist. A little bit. But, like... I I just I don't I don't know I don't know exactly where this is really gonna go. All I know is that we're getting that shield back and Sam is gonna be Captain America because of the audacity. Maybe this is a whole situation where Sam doesn't feel like he truly deserves it. Uh, but I I don't know. Maybe that's some inner turmoil world that he has to sit there and face. But honestly, like my dude, I don't know what you're doing um, by giving away that shield. And I understand why Bucky's mad. Bucky's mad because at the end of the day, it's like. Cap chose you for a reason. So, like, if if you're telling me that you can make the better decision than Cap, then, like, what am I? And that's a valid criticism. Very valid. So, here we are where we are. Um, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. I feel like that's pretty much my feelings on the matter. I generally feel like, you know... Mr. John Walker thinks that he knows everything. And he thinks that he's the baddest bitch in town. And I'm sorry... You just stepped on the scene. You got to get your stripes first. Yeah, you were on some Earth parts. But again, did you fight Thanos? Because I know you didn't. You didn't fight Thanos. So back that ass up. Anyway. As you can see, I have a bias against this person. Because I just don't know why he's acting like so familiar. Anyway. This is my video today. I, I think the episode's going really great. I'm really excited for a conversation about Zemo. I barely know what's really going to happen next. Um, it does really just... I think the episode really does set up a lot of implications for like long down the road, you know, young Avengers and, you know, the fact that he's getting that shield back because he's getting that shield back. Um, I did appreciate the therapist basically stopping them. That was really cool. But other than that, that's pretty much it. That's my video today. 
Let me know. How do you feel about this episode? Are you feeling it? Do you think that he's acting really too familiar? Because that's what I'm... There's only one, there's only one right answer. He is. You don't know me like that. Mr. Wilson or Mr. Barnes. Period. Uh, anyway. Thank you all so much for watching. Appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> Let me know how you feel. Talk to you later. Bye.